February last year, the RBI had said that the emergence of the Indian rupee as an international currency was inevitable. According to the central bank, internationalization will lower the transaction costs of cross-border trade by mitigating exchange rate risk but can also complicate the conduct of monetary policy. As yet, the rupee is not a freely convertible currency. Internationalization refers to the phenomenon of a national currency trading beyond its borders and actively used in the invoicing of trade and financial transactions, commodities and foreign exchange reserves. And last week, SBI Group Chief Economist Soumya Kanti Ghosh said in a research note that the RBI should make a conscious effort to internationalize the rupee and the payment disruptions caused by the Russia-Ukraine war offers a good opportunity to insist on export settlement in rupee, beginning with some of the smaller export partners. And on Monday, in a step that can help take the rupee global, the central bank unveiled a mechanism for international trade settlements in rupees at market-determined exchange rates. RBI's move means that Indian importers can now make payments in the rupee, which will be credited to the special Vostro account of the correspondent bank of the partner country, while Indian exporters will be paid from the balances in the designated Vostro accounts. A Vostro account is an account maintained in rupees by a local bank for a foreign bank. The surplus rupee balance in Vostro accounts can be used for investments in government securities, payments for projects and investments, and for export-import advance flow management. Russia's war and the subsequent economic sanctions from the West, such as blocking some Russian banks from the SWIFT financial messaging system, may have prompted the RBI to take this step. Experts believe this might be aimed at facilitating easier trade with neighbours, particularly sanctions hit Russia and forex starved Sri Lanka. So yesterday's uh, circular actually has the potential to eventually internationalize rupee. But it's that, that particular route is a long, long road away. In the immediate future though, there are some countries that might be interested, particularly starting with Russia. So if you have two and a half, three billion dollars of trade deficit every month with Russia, it was it used to be much, much smaller than that three, four months ago. And remember, Russia is looking for currencies to hold its reserves in. Rupee could be a potential currency for it, even though um, it's not a hard currency because India is a friendly regime for Russia. Because this circular now allows the Russians and the, the Russian banks to invest those money into India, it earns some money on the reserves as well. Uh, from an India perspective, also it works like a charm because you know this is a time when our current account deficit is threatening to cross $100 billion. Of that, if $2.5, $3 billion per month actually is paid not as dollars, but as rupees into an account sitting with our own banks to be deployed into Indian uh, assets, including Indian government bonds, that's beautiful. I'm guessing here that Russia will be okay, but it's still a geopolitical decision that has to be taken both at Russia's end. We will likely face geopolitical challenges globally. Then you have to go through the operational issues of actually opening accounts. Chances are the larger Indian banks would not want to open Russian bank accounts. In the current form, this is not going to be very attractive for normal countries. Uh, it's a one-way street. If you have rupees lying in your banking system in India, you can't take it out in the form of hard currency whenever you want. The other suggestion that's been made is that maybe countries like Sri Lanka might be interested. Again, that's fundamentally a little difficult to understand how that will work. See, this works where a country has a current account surplus with India, which means they're exporting more into India than importing, right? So which means you're left with rupee balances. Uh, Sri Lanka imports more from us than, we, than exports. So how do you generate rupees in the first place to pay us, right? India imported oil worth $5.1 billion in the three months to May from Russia, more than five times the value a year ago. In fact, Russia has become India's second biggest oil supplier, replacing Saudi Arabia. Barclays chief India economist Rahul Bajoria said this mechanism can be particularly useful for neighboring countries. India's trade with its neighbors and Russia stood at $169 billion in FY22, accounting for 16.4% of the country's total trade volume. The mechanism can also come in handy for trade with certain African and South American countries facing severe forex shortages. Exporters, meanwhile, are seeking clarification on whether incentives applicable on exports where the payment is received in freely convertible currencies like the US dollar will be available in the rupee settlement mechanism too. Uh, see, there are several uh, countries with which India can uh, have the rupee denominated trade. One is, of course, the countries which are under sanctions. I don't think the US uh, will really have uh, much of a problem. With the neighbors, I'm not too sure whether Bangladesh uh, uh, will be uh, willing to do it. 
Nepal, of course, uh, is, is, this wouldn't be a problem at all. So uh, really, it is up to India's uh, you know, diplomatic skills to get uh, countries on board. With Russia unable to access its foreign currency reserves, trade settlement in rupees can emerge as a win-win deal for both the countries as India ramps up its purchases of crude oil from the sanctions hit nation. As for other countries, India's diplomatic relations will determine whether they can be persuaded to adopt this medium for trade settlement. If you like this video, share it and subscribe to Business Standard. For more news, views and insights, log on to www.business-standard.com. Do also follow us on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Telegram and LinkedIn. सब अच्छी दिख रही हैं यार कौन सी खरीदूं ये तो वही बात हुई चार हजार शेयर लिस्टेड है कौन सा लू वो तो सबसे आसान है तुझे फाइव पैसा नहीं पता अब तो सबको पता है फाइव पैसा पर है चार हजार स्टॉक्स की रिसर्च टेक्निकल टूल्स और इन्वेस्टमेंट आइडियाज डाउनलोड फाइव पैसा नाउ अब तो सबको पता है इन्वेस्टिंग मेड इजी एंड रिपोर्टिंग विद फाइव पैसा इन्वेस्टमेंट इन सिक्योरिटीज मार्केट आर सब्जेक्ट टू मार्केट रिस्क रीड ऑल द रिलेटेड डॉक्यूमेंट केयरफुल बिफोर इन्